In this video, we're going to talk about multiplying and dividing exponential expressions. So before doing this, we basically just need to know basic arithmetic. All right, so an exponent is a shorthand, for an, or a shorthand notation for a term being multiplied by itself. So 2 to the 4th just means we have 4 copies of 2 being multiplied by itself. Right, but a lot of times kind of exponents get mixed together, and we have kind of three main rules for simplifying exponents. If you multiply two exponential expressions together, then you just add their exponents. The opposite of multiplication is division, which means you're going to subtract their exponents. And if you have this kind of double exponent, one exponential being raised to another exponent, that's when you multiply. All right, some people mess this one up and they multiply the exponents here because they see a multiplication. All right, but this one you're just adding more x's onto the end. Here you're like doubling up and that's why you're multiplying. I notice importantly that the base of the exponents are the same. So if I had something like this, I just couldn't do anything because x and y are different. So this would be as simple as it can get. But as soon as I make it both x's, then I could subtract those exponents. All right, so fully simplify this expression. This is the thing with simplifying exponential expressions is the way I do it might not be the way you do it. Um, we should get the same final answer, but you can kind of go a lot of different directions. So for this one, I would kind of simplify on the top first. I would say this is x to the 2 plus 5 over x cubed. Okay, when I'm multiplying these, I add the exponents, and I get x to the 7th over x cubed. And now I see this division, so now I can do x to the 7 minus 3, and that's x to the 4th. So my final answer is x to the 4th. Other people could subtract 2 and the 3 and then add it. You can subtract 5 and 3 and then add it. Um, you could do it all at once. All right, there's a lot of different ways to go, and that's one of the kind of more difficult things that the way you think about it first might not be the same way as I think about it. All right, but as long as you're following the correct um, steps that were allowed, then you'll get the same answer at the end. All right, this one, I think there's kind of two main ways to do it. The first way, I think, we're generally taught to simplify inside um, parentheses first. So I'll do this as b to the 3 plus 2. And you don't have to write this middle step. You could just go, you know, 3 plus 2 is 5. So you can write this step. And then we have this double exponent, so we multiply, and that's b to the 20th. So I'd say these steps, writing them, are kind of optional. These ones I'd kind of want to see. Another way you could do this one is this 4 exponent kind of distribute. You can get b to the 3 times 4 and b to the 2 times 4, which is b to the 12th and b to the 8th, and then you could add them. And again, you get the same final answer. All right, here, this is important, goes back to our first slide when we were introducing. It only matters when the exponent, or sorry, the bases are the same, so the bottom part of the exponential. So really, we can only combine the x parts, and we can only combine the y parts. All right, what's the exponent here when there's no number? If there's no number, it's always just that invisible one. All right, and that's our final answer. So make sure you're only combining things with a similar base for your exponential. All right, so here's one for you to try on your own. I right, go ahead and fully simplify this expression. All right, so pause the video, try this one, I'll show you the answer in three, two, one. All right, first thing I'll do is inside the parentheses, six minus three is three. Then you multiply the eight to the sixth. All right, so eight to the sixth would be my answer. You also could have gone this alternate route of distributing this exponent subtracting, and you also get a to the 6. Right, those are the two ways that I could think would make sense to do this problem. All right, so important stuff. Right, you can always write out all the terms you multiply and then simplify. It just takes a lot longer. So I could have like x squared is x times x, x to the fifth is x times x times x times x times x. Now you could always do this, but then you're going to be counting numbers. And if I had a problem that gave you like x to the 97th, that's not really feasible. All right, and then finally, just make sure to only combine the terms that have the same base.